What year was Solomon's temple destroyed? According to Wikipedia, according to the Hebrew Bible, Solomon's temple, also known as the first temple, was the holy temple in ancient Jerusalem before its destruction by Nebuchadnezzar II after the siege of Jerusalem of 587 BCE and its subsequent replacement with the second temple in the 6th century BCE. 587 BCE, did you catch that? Yeah, you caught that. <laughs> And all the search results uh, are all saying 586 or 587 for the destruction of the Temple of Solomon. Um, can I move a bit closer? No, you're good. I'm good, okay. Um, 586 or 587 BCE is the date that they're giving for the destruction of Solomon's Temple. Um, if you Google when was Solomon's temple, sorry, if you Google when were the Jews released from Babylonian captivity, uh, you all almost get unanimous uh, 537 BCE. Um, there's a problem with, with these numbers here. Uh, Every Christian believes that the Jews went into exile for 70 years. In fact, that's in the Bible. I don't know if to tell you which verses they are in. Um, Jeremiah 29, verse 10. Second Chronicles chapter 36, verses 22 and 23. Ezra chapter 1, verses 1 to 4. Daniel chapter 9, verse 2. All talk about a 70-year exile that the Jews go into. Um... Why is the internet saying 586 BCE? The problem is, is when, when you add, if the Jews went into exile for 70 years and they were released from captivity in 537, then if you add up 70 years onto 537, you come up with 607 BCE. But the internet is saying that it's 586 at, that the temple was destroyed. Um, I'm going to read to you 2 Kings chapter 25 and verse 8. It says, In the fifth month, on the seventh day of the month, that is to say the nineteenth year of King Nebuchadnezzar, the king of Babylon, Nebuchadnezzar, the chief of the bodyguard, the servant of the king of Babylon, came to Jerusalem, and he proceeded to burn the house of Jehovah, and the king's house, and all the houses of Jerusalem, and the house of every great man he burned with fire. And... Um, so Second Kings chapter 25 is saying that that Jerusalem was destroyed in the 19th year of Nebuchadnezzar. So I went on the internet and I googled Nebuchadnezzar. And this is what it says about Nebuchadnezzar here. Nebuchadnezzar was the eldest son and successor of Nabopolizar, an Assyrian official who rebelled and established himself as king of Babylon in 620 BC. BC, BC. Um, the dynasty he established ruled until 539 when the Neo-Babylonian em Empire was conquered by Cyrus the Great. Um, so 539, it's saying, is when Cyrus... Uh, Conquer Babylon and the Jews are released from captivity. It says Nabal Palaser died in August 605 BC, and Nebuchadnezzar returned to Babylon to ascend the throne. So, according to Wikipedia, uh, the father of Nebuchadnezzar died in 605 BC. It's, it's very specific, it says August 605. And Nebuchadnezzar starts to rule, 605 B.C. 
So according to 2 Kings 25, it says, in the 19th year of King Nebuchadnezzar, that's when he goes up and he destroys Jerusalem. So if you take 605 BC, when he starts ruling as, as king according to uh, the internet, and you add 19 years, right, when he comes up, do you know what that gives you? 605 minus 19. Do you know what that is? <laughs> it's about 586, 587 what the, when, when they're saying that the internet says, I just Googled it, where it says 587 is when Jerusalem is destroyed. Okay. But, but there's a serious problem with this. <laughs> um, the big question is, is, is where is the 70-year exile? Because the Bible says the Jews were captive by Nebuchadnezzar in Babylon for 70 years. Jeremiah prophesied that they would be captive for 70 years. And when, they were, and when they were released, the Bible says that they had done 70 years of exile. And if you add 70 years onto 539 or 537, 537 plus 70, you don't get 586. You get 607. To get 586 or 587, you have to add 50 years onto 539. So if the temple's destroyed, according to the internet, on 586 or 587, the Jews are only in exile for 50 years. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> um, so there's there's there's. Can we pause it for? I'm going to pause it for a second. Here. If you got to hit this button. Yeah. So I took this. I don't know if you're able to read this. Is it too tiny? Yeah, that's too tiny. Even if I come close. Okay. Spirit. This is from the uh, Insight volume out of the Jehovah's Witnesses literature. And it gives certain dates here. It says, In 617 BCE, Nebuchadnezzar took Jewish captives and temple treasures to Babylon. That same year, 617 BC, Zedekiah begins to rule as king. In... Let's see here. In 609 BC, Nebuchadnezzar invaded Judah again, which is the siege of Jerusalem beginning. In 607 BC, the fourth month of 607, the walls of Jerusalem are breached on the ninth day. The ninth day of the fourth month. One month later, in 607 BC, Jerusalem and the temple are burned on the 10th day of the 5th month. So it's saying that Solomon's temple is destroyed the 5th month of 607, which is 20 years different from the internet. The 7th month, the last Jews abandoned Judah about the middle of the... Okay, last Jews are ab abandoned Judah about the middle of the seventh month, 607. So, all during 607, Nebuchadnezzar comes back for the second time. In 617, before Zedekiah begins his rule, he takes a bunch of Jews captive. And that's actually, if you read 2 Kings 24, that's what it's talking about. 
So 10 years later, 10 years later, Jerusalem is destroyed and the rest of the Jews are taken captive. So, it's very strange because the verse I, I, I read in 2 Kings says that Nebuchadnezzar did this on the 19th year of his, of his rule. And Wikipedia says that his rule began in 605. Okay, so 605 takes you to, to 586, 19th year. But if you look in the Jehovah's Witness literature under Nebuchadnezzar, it says that he began ruling in 624 BC. It says that Nabopolizar is, is, is dying and he takes the throne in 624. So they take the 19 years. They take 19 years and they get 607. I don't know how they get 607 because if you subtract 19 from 624, you're going to get 605 or 606. But they say this is all happening in 607. Right. So I'm gonna I'm gonna there's there's a problem here. The, the, these these dates are not adding up. There's 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 three dates that have to agree. The date, the year that Jerusalem is destroyed. What year was it destroyed? The second year is that there has to be seventy year exile. Because every Christian agrees that the Jews were in exile for seventy years. Every Christian, you have to, it, you have to agree that. No Christian is going to say they didn't do seventy years. And and the third date, which everybody seems to agree on, is when the Jews are released from captivity. They don't agree on the exact date, but they say it's between five thirty seven and five thirty nine. I'm going to show you another another problem with 586. Why 586 has to be wrong. Why the internet is wrong about Nebuchadnezzar. Why the internet is wrong about 586. Second Kings chapter 24. 21 years old was Zedekiah when he began to reign, and for 11 years he reigned in Jerusalem. 11 years. Okay. If you read 2 Kings 24, verse 14, you know, Nebuchadnezzar goes and he takes the Jews captive for the first time before Zedekiah rules. 11 years later, it says, it says Zedekiah was on the throne 11 years. He comes back, chapter 25, verse 7. It says, And Zedekiah's sons, they slaughtered before his eyes. And Zedekiah's eyes he blinded, after which he bound him, and he brought him to Babylon. Zedekiah was king for 11 years. I don't know if it's 11 years exactly, but there's a few months in there. 21 years old. So, so at 30, 31 or 32 years of age, he's, 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 he's gone. So, so here's the problem. If, if Zedekiah ruled for 11 years, which means the first Jews were taken captive 11 years before 586. If you're going to go with 586, that means, that means Zedekiah 
went into captivity in, in, in 586 too, which means he began his rule 11 years earlier, which is 596, or five, around 596. The problem is, is you don't have a 70-year exile still. How do you get 70 years? The only, the only number, it, you know, from the release of the Jews in 537 to 539 is either 607 to 609. It had to be 607 to 609. If you say 586, the Jews are only in captivity for 50 years. which means they didn't do 70-year exile. And that means all the scriptures in the Bible are wrong, that, that are saying 70 years. So, so are they going by an estimated approach then on the years or are these concrete uh, facts that this happened on that year do you know why they're saying 586 uh, I'll, 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 t I'll tell you it's, it's a it's a lie to take people's attention away from 607 Daniel. Two. Okay, Daniel wrote the book of Daniel, chapter 9, verse 2, while he's in Babylon. He says, in the first year of his reigning, I myself, Daniel, discerned by the books the number of the years concerning which the word of Jehovah had occurred to Jeremiah the prophet for fulfilling the devastations of Jerusalem, namely 70 years. Okay, so it's basically saying that Daniel realizes the prophecy of Jeremiah because Jeremiah foretold the destruction of, of Jerusalem. And he's saying, it says here, for fulfilling the devastations of Jerusalem, namely 70 years. What these people are doing is they're taking 586 and they're adding 70 years onto 586 and they're saying that this, the 70 years for the devastation of the land of Jerusalem is about the temple being destroyed and rebuilt. Because it took 20 years after the Jews were released in 539 or 537 for the temple to finish in 517 BC. The temple took 20 years to rebuild. So they're saying that the 70 years starts in 586 and finishes when they when they rebuilt the temple. But there's a problem with this because there, there still needs to be a 70-year exile. You know, the Jews completed their 70-year exile. If you read Ezra chapter 1, it says they, they did 70 years. They didn't do 50 years. They didn't do 60 years. You know? They did 70 years. So it had to happen in 607 B.C. It's the only way you can get 70 years is by having 70 years. Right.
I don't know what else to say. <laughs> you know, Do you I think they're maybe they're cramming all the events that happen in in sort of an estimated uh, sort of year, seventy years, uh, close to fifty years? What do you? I'm sorry, I'm not following you. Like maybe they're not. Are they talking about one thing, or are they talking about several? events that happen within those well that's the thing is 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 you know when i you know i i have just had this conversation with a few people that were trying to convince me of 586 and and, I, and my question to them is well, what about the 70 year exile you know and and um it's like they're saying that i was told there's more than there was more than one exile when nebuchadnezzar came and destroyed the temple and took these remaining jews back right. um, they're saying they're, that wasn't the only time he took them exile right um, I mean it could have been one at 60 and then another one at 65 one at 70 or well is that the only two exiles were before Zedekiah began ruling in king and after, which so it had to happen in an eleven in an eleven year period, right? So if you take the five eighty six, and you add on these eleven years, right, it only comes to sixty one year exile at most, and m most of the Jews are only doing fifty years. Nobody's doing seventy years if you take five eighty six. Right. So this, 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 this woman is wrong. When I ask her, when would Solomon's temple destroy? She says five, 580, she said 586 or 587. And where is she, is she getting her sources from? That's a good question. <laughs> where, where, well, they're, again, they're basing it on Nebuchadnezzar. They're saying that Nebuchadnezzar begins his rule in 605. And this is the Jehovah's Witnesses say Nebuchadnezzar began his rule in 624. That's that's 19 year difference. What are their sources for this? You know, why are they saying 605? Are they trying to support the 586 belief? Are they just trying to make make it fit into Second Kings where it says the 19th year? You know. Of, of Nebuchadnezzar's reign, he destroys Jerusalem. 586 plus 19 equals 605. Is that how they came up with 605? Are they just trying to make this lie work? Why are they trying to take attention away from 607? Should we end it there? Anything else? I can't think of anything else. <laughs> All right, so we'll continue this uh, on a later date. <laughs> Find out more information on this. All right.